Hello, everyone, and welcome to the finals of the StarCityGames.com Richmond Open Weekend. Cedric Phillips and Craig Kremples here in the booth. Nick Miller down in the feature match area over James' first shoulder as we prepare to watch our final match on the weekend. James First, number three overall seed, will be on the play here with Grixis Death Shadow against Kazu Negri, a number eight overall seed with Blue Red Gift Storm. For Negri, he's upset not one, but two Jeskai control decks. And then for James First, He's gotten by some pretty stiff competition in Dan Musser and Ross Merriam, though he is very quickly taking a mulligan here, which is going to make Craig's pick look a little foolish. Yeah, I've just put it all on the line here. I'm losing milkshakes. I'm losing picks. It's going to be a rough night for me. It will be tough. And I won't be that un insufferable about Yes, it. you will. I know that I will. Ooh, Rudy Briska on social media. Kazu has some great handwriting. What a blowout for Craig. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say. I'm milkshake flooded. <laughs> <laughs> the expression, you lose some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> Win some, lose most. Yeah. There it is. Oh, boy. All right, we're keeping six here. Come on, keep the six. Super six. Looks like James... Happy enough. It's going to scry to the bottom. And we are underway here in game number one. Players are giving the green light. Let's see who's going to win here in Richmond. Sacred Foundry. Excuse me. Scalding Tarn. Not Sacred Foundry. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Scalding Tarn. Probably for Watery Grave. Yeah, the scry on the play when your deck is almost all fetch lands, mm -hmm. not as good. Not as good, yeah. Maybe a little less good. Down to 17 goes James. Going to work on getting that Death Shadow online. Yeah, no Blood Moons in game one. And now there is an Inquisition of Kozlek. Kazu going to reveal the hand. Bunch of lands there, four of them, along with a Manamorphose, Sleight of Hand, and a Desperate Ritual. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> I, think, I think Sleight of Hand is a pretty easy choice here. Yeah, Sleight of Hand is the best card in this hand. As good as Manamorphose is in this deck, Sleight of Hand is the one that's going to help Kazu find the relevant stuff, so that's got to go away. Kazu will draw. He'll play a Flood of Strand, pass the turn back over to James. James picks up a copy of Thought Scour. He'll play a Thought Scour, and he will target himself. One is a Snapcaster Mage, two is a Bloodstained Mire. Come on, fatty. <laughs> he drew a Thoughtseize. You all right over there? No, I'm either player that wins, congratulations to them. Okay. You know, I don't but, have... But, uh, yeah, but you're, yeah, but you're all in on this. <laughs> He'll sacrifice a Scalding Tarn. I don't really have a horse in this race, Noted. you know? Noted. See if James is going to search for a blood crypt, and he will. So he's going to fall down to 14. We could see Grimag Angler or Tassiger here. Not time for Death Shadow yet. And I want to make sure because I haven't seen. I knew it. No, never mind. There are some. I, I was going to say, I haven't seen him cycle Street Wraith yet. Yeah, he's only playing three copies. Okay, okay. Uh, here's Thoughtseize. Manamorphose down. It's a hand of Desperate Ritual and lands. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good. Yeah, the, the hand of all lands is soft to a lot of strategies. Yes. Yes, it is. We do get to draw a card every turn. Best part of magic. Indeed it is. So we'll see if Kazu can find something that is actually useful here as he searched up a steam vents. Fell down to 19 to do so. Draw a card. There's Steam Vents tap. Pass that turn back. Let's go over to James. Thought Scour. Hit one. Push. Hit two. Inquisition. Draw a card. Death Shadow. Yeah. Online. Payoff card. There is that payoff card. Get the clock started. The old 1-1. One, 1-1 one. <laughs> one, one for now. A little more fun later as Kazu will draw a card. Picked up a copy. Oh, of not Grape Shot. Grape Shot. Yeah. <laughs> R11. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> Might just fire. So this is always interesting to me because do you play around Street Wraith or not? I, I don't think that you do. No. Yeah. And there is Grape Shot for one. See you later, Death Shadow. Yeah, if, if James had a, a Street Wraith right there, <laughs> which he just drew, you know, there was only one turn in there where he wouldn't have cycled Street Wraith right away. Yeah, I think it's appropriate not to play around it. Pluto Delta is the land for the turn. That Death Shadow would be huge right now. If he's also sacked that polluted delta and pay three, we're going to six six out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, what a beating. <laughs> Kazu going to dig up a land. He's on the hunt for something like a Gift Sun Given, maybe a Baral, maybe a Goblin Electromancer, something that's useful. So Come on, man. Who, whose side are you on here? I'm just an impartial viewer. 
Me too. The faster I get that milkshake, the better my life's about to be. <laughs> oh, this handwriting's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> James is going to go down to nine, and he's going to actually make it seven. So that's a little risky. I don't know how risky, but you, you are playing against a deck that has Grape Shot. Yeah. You're, you're making the storm job much easier for them. There's a Blood Crypt past the turn back. Not a lot going on for James first right now. Past in Flames the Ooh. draw. Ooh. And, and that might be really close to just winning it here. Well, it depends on if it does resolve, of course. Right now, Kazu has to weigh Stubborn Isle in so far as his spells would cost one more. Yeah, uh, James has been sitting on a couple of cards in his hand for a while. Mm -mm, we are moving here with no cost reducer. Pyretic Ritual. Storm of one, three red floating. Desperate Ritual. Storm of two, four red. Passed in flames, nothing floating. Some unbelievable draw stats for Kazu here. Not bad at all. It's running hotter than the sun, this guy. I can guy. certainly appreciate going for it, too. Here's Pyretic. That's a Stubborn Denial. We could have two Stubborn Denials. That's what we have. Fair enough. Okay. So that's going to dead his turn. And that means that James is still alive, but he's got two less Stubborn Denials. Let's go back over to Kazu. I didn't get a great look at what he drew. It might be a cost reducer. Well, it's funny. Al almost all the cards are good for him here. D even more lands just gets him closer to just flashing back past in flames and starting with some, you know, ritual effects out of his graveyard. Yeah, right now, past in flames, of course, costs five to replay. He's going to play Scalding Tar. What's interesting, right, is, you know, James has, I believe, only one card in hand. If you're trying to figure out what it is, what he's up to, my best guess, if I'm Kazu, it's, it is so likely that it's a fatal push. Because he's had no reason, to, or, or that. Yep. Because he's had no reason to cast it. Yep, you're right on point. We expected some amount of removal spells and stubborn denials. Going down to six is a little scary. Maybe. I, I think at this point, seven and six are very similar. Okay. James is going to draw. Thoughtseize. <laughs> Not so much. Pass the turn. Let's go over to Kazu. He'll sacrifice a fetch land. Going to get nine out of his deck. Thin it out a little bit. A lot of big draw steps here for him. Gifts on Given, probably the best of the bunch. Yeah, Gifts, and, Gifts on Given is just absolute windmill slam. Um, like I said, e even a land, he might be very close to just winning with a, a, another land drop. Flashback the Passing in Flames. He's got a couple of ritual effects. And then, you know, from there he, he can play the Sleight of Hand, the Manamorphose, and see what happens. That's a good draw step, folks. Tassiger, single black, with four mana up to be able to activate its ability. Now James has got to figure out what cards he wants to remove from his graveyard to maximize his Tassiger activation. Street Wraith is going to bite the dust. Yeah, this is actually a little awkward. I don't know if he's going to be able to get all of the bad cards out of his graveyard. He's going to try. <laughs> uh, it looks like he removed six. Or he can only remove five. Six is a lot. Yeah, six is one too many. Now, we're, yeah, we're not sure if he's done resolving it just yet, but he can only remove five. So he's going to leave Street Wraith in the graveyard. I'm sure he can cast that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that go beat downs. <laughs> All right, five cards removed. What's this? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Pierce three reps, top five. Yeah, that, real hard for Akazu to come up empty here. Let's take a look at the graveyard here. I think the concern is Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage on Stubborn Isle is real good. Yep. But then again... He may have just stub he may have just stubborn now this. Yeah, so. there's a strong chance he would have just done it. Serum visions. Huh. 
That's, that's one of the softer cards he could have gotten off of that for yep. sure. Looks like he may have picked up a land. If you're Kazu, what's interesting about that, you want to get this over with fast. Yeah, the Tassiker is going to start accumulating some cards. Many of them are going to be pretty mediocre, but still, you, you just don't want to be giving away that extra value. Mm -hmm. In the tank we go. A lot to think about here for Kazu. And he only needs to get to six spells. Which is not all that difficult. All right. So passing flames. What does he have? At, at least one ritual, a manamorphos, a sleight of hand, the grape shot, and, and then one other spell, as long as he has the mana. Yeah, that's the big issue, right? He's got to have the mana. He's going to sleight of hand first. Draw a card, scry two. This might set him up better for next turn. Electromancer is on top of his deck. He looks like he might just leave Electromancer there. <laughs> Take a look at the graveyard. <laughs> <coughs> What's interesting about this, I think the first card, if I'm Kazu, I give him back a Street Wraith. Yes in almost every circumstance, just because go to four, draw a mystery card. Cool. Both cards going to go to the bottom from the scry. Do it again. Desperate Rituals in there. I think that might be something he's interested in. And a gift's and been a, given. Yeah, and a gift's, boy. Keeping both. They're both really good. He's going to put gifts, I think, on top, Ritual on the bottom. I'm a little surprised like that by that. I, I, I think with the ritual, he could just go for the win the next turn. He'll pass. We'll get the Tasker activation. One, two, push <laughs> Tasker. Well, <laughs> yep, that got easier. <laughs> you can have Tasker. Let's go over to James. Drew a push, has a thought seize. That's the easy part. Put Kazu down at 12. And I, I think I'm interested in thought sees here just because yeah, six, like he has so many cards in his graveyard and this passing flames. I, I think he could just kill you with those cards. It just doesn't need, doesn't need much else. That's funny. His graveyard is so deep. He's gone through so many cards already. That Tasker is actually just kind of bad, but it's also kind of weird, too, because I think... He, uh, okay, so initially I was thinking, okay, this is, like, a pretty good idea. Use Tasker to get some other cards out of the graveyard, but then you're putting Tasker back into the graveyard. Yeah, you're getting Tasker back next turn. Yeah, so that's what you're getting back next turn. That's a lock. And But he's, he's trying to say in two turns, I'm definitely going to have Snapcaster Mage or Stubborn Denial. That's okay. what he's going for. Okay. But obviously, whatever Tassiger mills off is going to greatly affect that. Manamorphos, I love it. He's got a Manamorphos and a Gifts. Yes. <laughs> game <laughs> over. Kazu Negri is going to win game number one here over James first. Blue Red Gift Storm up a game here over Grixis Death Shadow as number eight. Seed here has been on the draw a whole bunch here in the top eight, and it has not mattered yet. As we're going to take a look at the sideboards here. Grixis Death Shadow will start with James first, who's got three Ceremonious Rejection, two Teamer Battle Rage, two Liliana the Veil, two Nile Spell Bomb, two Young Pyromancer, two Collective Brutality. What are you enjoying <laughs> over there? Stubborn Denial and a Liliana the Last Hope. I don't know, because he's got like nine awesome cards to board in. <laughs> and he's still, Kazu's probably going to find a way to win. <laughs> He's got Liliana, Spellbomb, yep. Young Pyromancer, sure. Collector Brutality, that's, that's eight, and the four Stubborn Dial. Those yeah. cards are all nuts. Yeah, they're, they're all very solid in the matchup. Um, some of them, the Collector Brutality is good, not great. I think the Young Pyromancer is good, not great. But it, I, I agree. <laughs> he's, he's got a lot going on, and, and I think he will bring in you know, all of those cards or maybe 
you know, seven of the nine or something like that. Yeah, I just think he's got a lot of really, really, really good options there. Those aren't low-impact sideboard cards. Those are, I think, some pretty good ones. So uh, I expect to see most of them come in. You can the sideboarding out some cards, I guess, might be kind of tough. Yeah, that's just a, what does he want to take out of his deck to include these cards? Kulikon's Command might be a little bit too expensive. Um, Street Wraith might be a little, you know, you don't need that card as much anymore. Well, I can see cutting the Terminates, le leaving the Fatal Pushes. Yeah, since they're always going to take care of Brawl and Electromancer. I think you can find some stuff. Sure. I think you can find some stuff. For Kazu, three Empty the Warren, three Lightning Bolt, three Blood Moon, two Shattering Spree, two Dispel, an Echoing Truth, and a Dismember. I love Empty. Yeah, Empty the Warren looks... Empty the Warrens Plural. look good. Yep. And, uh, I mean, he, he's on the play here. We could just see him go turn to Ritual Blood Moon. Well, who's on? The, James on the play. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course James yeah. is on the play. I pick wrong every single time. That's correct. How have I not realized this yeah. yet? <laughs> He is on the play. I mean, Kazu can still do a turn two thing. Sure. That's for sure. He could go ritual. If he goes ritual, ritual, manamorphous, empty, that's eight goblins. Yeah, that's great. That's very, very good. Yeah. Which is part of the reason I like Young Pyromancer. Because you can make enough doofuses. You can try to fight back Yeah, to be that. able to hang on a little bit. If he doesn't have Static Aster, if he doesn't have, you know, a Swelt, I don't, Sweltering Something of the Gods, whatever, just some Pyroclasm Mass Effect, that's the way you might have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of outs to an empty the Warrens. That that card looks great against this sideboard plan of Grixis Death Shadow. Well, these players having a good time here in the feature match area with so much on the line, so it's good to see the sportsmanship, and we're going to watch him play game number two here in just a moment. James First will be on the play with Grixis Death Shadow. Uh, we prepare to tell you about Grand Prix Washington, D.C., which we're going to be hosting in D.C. Uh, just a couple weeks from now, over Labor Day weekend, September 1st through the 3rd. Jeremy Noel is going to tell you all about that awesome tournament right now. On September 1st through the 3rd, make plans to be part of Magic the Gathering history when StarCityGames.com proudly presents Grand Prix Washington, D.C. Play in the standard format main event to compete for thousands of dollars in prizes and a spot on the Magic the Gathering Pro Tour. Select the three-day Infinite Challenge package to compete in all challenge events for one low price, while also walking away with the exclusive Hour of Devastation playmat. All Friday challenges are also Grand Prix Trials. Come out early and compete for buys in the main event and more chances to claim an Hour of Devastation playmat. Prefer 100 card formats? Register for the Ultimate Commander package to play in four Commander on-demand events and take home a Commander vs. Playmat and Ultimate Guard Boulder deck case. Want to play on Magic's grandest stage? Compete in the Pro Tour qualifier on Sunday and receive a Progenitus foil promo just for playing, plus the chance for an invitation to Pro Tour Rivals of Ixalan in Bilbao, Spain. And don't forget to come say hello to Grand Prix Washington, D.C.'s many special guests, including cosplayer Christine Sprinkle and an artist alley full of fan favorites, headlined by guest of honor Rob Alexander. Be part of Magic the Gathering history. Register for Grand Prix Washington, D.C. today. September 1st through the 3rd, Grand Prix Washington, D.C., hosted by Star City Games. It's going to be an awesome standard Grand Prix with a lot of awesome artists and cosplayers. We hope to see each and every single one of you there as we prepare to watch game number two here between James First and Kazu Negri. Both these players are going to take a look at their opening hand. More James mulligans. will take a mulligan. Kazu thinking about keeping his hand. It looks like he's a little unsure. Yeah, and despite the result of that last game, I, I think we saw why we thought Grixis Death Shadow would be good in this matchup. It was a great combination. Yeah, he just didn't find the pressure that he needed, but he, he was able to kill the cost reducer. He effectively attacked his opponent's hand with some discard spells, uh, and then he had, you know, a couple of counter spells when he needed them. If he just had, uh, you know, an early delve creature in there, he definitely would have been able to close out the game. Well, what's interesting about that first game is, is he supposed to play the Death Shadow as a 1-1? Yeah, that, that's really where he got burned. Mm -hmm. Because if he had waited, and this is obviously being results-oriented, but he draws a Street Wraith, he finds a Delta, his thing's a 6-6, six, six, the Grape Shot's pretty irrelevant, and he has two Storm Denials. Yep. So yep. he took a risk playing it as a 1-1. One, one. It did not pan out, and then he, it took him much too long to find another threat. Sure, he, he had played a discard spell the turn before that. Mm-hmm. So he knew that Kazu literally had two draw steps. Mm -hmm. There was no cantripping. I don't think that happened in between there. No, I don't think so either. So two draw steps in order to draw that grape shot. Had it. And it was there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, he's given a good long think about this scry here. 
Ow. Yeah, and Kazu just powering up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little feet down of a cliff bar. <laughs> I hope it's peanut butter chocolate. It's the only good one. Let's go over to Kazu. Scalding Tarn. Going to bring Kazu down to at least 19. We'll see if he wants to go any lower than that. He'll get a basic island. And it seems like James might have found a card that he really likes with the scry. And so he didn't want to crack the fetch land on the first turn. This is a Serum Visions. He'll draw a card. He will scry too. One on top, one on bottom. And we're going to go over to James. Who's found a Tassiger. He'll sacrifice the Bloodstained Mire first. And the Scalding Tarn second. <laughs> <laughs> Very specific Indeed. about that. Indeed. Not I'm sacrificing both of these. I'm no. sacrificing this one. And then this one. And then this one. Will 18 become 14? He's just trying to do things in alphabetical order here. I can appreciate that. And it will become 14. Two Watery Graves. Bring our Death Shadow player a little bit lower. We could see Thought Scour plus Tasker here. Ding, ding, ding. Tier Battle Rage, Thought Scour, draw a card. It's Death Shadow. Not, okay. time, not time for that one just yet. There's Tasker. There goes the graveyard. Uh, there's the pressure. That was step one. Yeah, we're putting a lot of pieces together here. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Echoing truth. Get that tasker out of here. You're going to have to work for your threats. Yeah, not what we expected. Here's a thought, sees. You did expect this. Some rituals. Two pyretic, a manamorphos. Might be two manamorphoses there, along with the serum visions. And another spire bluff canal. Yeah, and I think you you take the Serum Visions here and hope he just doesn't hit a payoff card. And there it goes. Steve Vince is going to bring us down a little bit lower. And now here's Death Shadow, which is a 3-3, three, three, safe from Grape Shot. Yeah, and with all of these ritual effects, Kazu can... You know, go off at any point if he draws the right card here. Indeed he can. Blood Moon would also be a real doozy right now. <laughs> Metamorphose. Draw a card. Yeah, it seems like he's just cycling it. I think he just drew a Blood Moon off of it. Ting. Unbelievable. Ting-a-ding-ding. -ding. Why? <laughs> Why would you open your mouth? In for three, Craig. I've been doing this for five years. <laughs> I've seen it all, baby. Yeah. I've seen it all. This is your fault? I've seen it all. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally seen it all. Could have fetched for basics. Wasn't sure if he was going to board Blood Moon and he has two basics in his deck. Yeah, uh, and, and it's free Romania now. Well, there are ways for this uh, this Death Shadow get, to get bigger and increase the clock. Oh, absolutely. But not a whole lot of them. No. I think he found an empty. Yeah, oh, he yeah, did. Yeah, give me that. Those are going to go to the bottom. And the opponent's at 10. Oh, 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 no. Yeah, if he has land, he oh, can just start casting oh, some oh, rituals. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Manamorphos. Oh, dear. Draw a card. He's got two rituals in his hand. Use these. Cast that. Spell three. Three red. Use this. Cast that. Up to four. Spell four. And spell five. Ten goblins. And this is going to do it here. The lock is very hard. The opponent can't cast spells. Nope. Kazu will pass the turn back. James will draw a card. It's a fetch land. He can't fetch anything with that. He might have a basic island in his hand. Not entirely sure. I do appreciate that the Death Shadow is already attacking. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, Pier was on the end step. Yeah, the Mana Morphers. Yeah, it was Turning Ghost. Yes, that's that's the right number. Death Shadow going to hang out. Oh, come on. Let's get aggressive. What we got here? That's a uh, that's a Scalding Tarn Mountain on tap. And draw. Now, Kazu, he's got to... It's weird to say. He's got to be a little careful, okay? You saw one teamer battle rage. Yep. So he's got to be a little bit careful here. I like this. I actually am okay with this. Sure. Because he could attack him with all the goblins, put him down to one, and then Death Shadow would be a 12-12. Teamer Battle Rage would kill him. I think he's clear to attack with everything now, and that is going to do it. Kazu Negri is going to win this game and match here over James first. Two games to zero. Blue Red Gift Storm will take care of Grixis Death Shadow, and that means number eight overall seed beat Jeskai Control once, beat Jeskai Control twice, and just beat Grixis Death Shadow. He is your SCG Richmond champion, and he's taking a deep breath because it feels like he may have gotten away with one here in the top eight.